Welcome to the TCP Academy. Today we're looking at the January 2025 Human and Social Biology paper. We're looking at question two and you can check around somewhere on the screen at the end of this video for links to other past paper questions. The first question says state the difference between excretion and elimination. Now excretion is the removal of metabolic waste from the body while elimination similar to ejection is the removal of un undigested food and of course with waste material from the body for example feces is a eliminated product while urine would have been an excreted product other than the kidney name two excretory organ in the body and state one excretory product from each each name organ so organ the skin you have sweat coming from the skin and lungs you have excretory product there being carbon dioxide moving on we are looking at what is called a nephron or the kidney tubule very quickly we see there that we have uh, some parts there that we need to identify so this here is going to be the afferent arteriole this this here is going to be the efferent arteriole we have what is called in this area here the bowman's capsule and you're seeing what's called the glomerulus right uh, over here we're going to be having what is called the proximal convoluted tubule or first convoluted tubule and of course here we have what is called a loop of Enli here is the distal convoluted tubule or the second convoluted tubule and here we have what is called a collecting duct let's look at what the question requires of us it said blood is filtered from glomerulus and the filtrate enters the Bowman's capsule. List in the correct order the four structure after the Bowman capsule through which the filtrate will pass as urine is being produced. So we look there and we remember the first convoluted tubule, the loop of Henley, second convoluted tubule, and of course the collecting duct. So it says after the Bowman's capsule. It's very important to observe that. So after the Bowman's capsule, it's going to go into what we call a glomerulus. Right? That Nick. Let's let us look at this. Sorry. Let us look at this again. So this here is the Bowman capsule and the network of blood vessels here is what we call the glomerulus. All right, so the filtrate is coming from the network of blood vessel, going into the Bowman capsule, then the first convoluted tubule, then the loop of any second convoluted tube, and then the collecting duct. So what did it say here? Bowman capsule. All right, great. Table one shows the concentration of three substance found in the filtrate and urine of a healthy individual. Table one, concentration of three substance found in the filtrate and urine of a healthy individual so we are seeing there in the filtrate in the bowman capsule we are having about 0.5 um, grams per centimeter cube urea and you're seeing how much there for urine we are supposed to explain why glucose is found in the filtrate but not in the urine now glucose is found in the filtrate due to the process of ultra filtration the glucose is however removed from the nephron 
by the process of selective reabsorption, hence no glucose forms part of the urine as a result of selective reabsorption in an healthy individual. Explain why protein is not found in either in the filtrate nor the urine. Now it's important to know that the glomerulus prevents large particles like protein uh, from getting into the Bowman's capsule and the selective reaction removes other components like amino acids from the filtrate. Hence no protein can be found in the urine of a healthy individual. That takes us to the end of question number two. Please stay tuned for the other questions. Until we next meet, be reminded to like, share, and of course subscribe. And guess what? What good?